Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be going over the V Rising Legacy of Castlevania teaser trailer. This was just posted about maybe six, seven hours ago, but I just woke up. So yeah, let's see uh, what they got in store for us. Just so you guys know, I don't know much about Castlevania. The only thing I know about it is whatever is on Netflix. <laughs> Here we go. E Rising, Legacy of Castlevania, Battle Simon Belmont. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know who that is, but the last name is familiar. So I assume they're related to, I think his name was Trevor. I'm trying to remember. I, I wish I knew more about Castlevania, guys. I don't know anything about <laughs> Castlevania, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, but what I will say is that seeing another boss with like a ranged weapon like that is kind of interesting well i assume he's a boss i'm actually not that surprised i guess that they've somehow worked something out with the peeps over at castlevania i don't know much about castlevania like i said the only thing i know about it is what i've seen on netflix because i saw i think like the first season of castlevania on netflix which i thought was really good by the way it was pretty good so um I know there's a lot of people who are super hyped for this. I wish I had more to say. Okay, so on the uh, V Rising Discord, when they posted this, it says, he who wields his whip is not easily defeated. So yeah, this is gonna be very interesting. I guess this is going to be our new vampire hunter, assuming I understand this right, because my understanding is that the Belmont family, I think is like a lineage of vampire hunters. That's like my, that's my basic understanding. I'm sure a lot of people are super hyped for this because I know Castlevania is kind of a big brand. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't know about you guys but i don't really want to get bonked in the head with this thing something i kind of wonder is whether this is this is going to be like a boss that we fight or is this going to just be like i doubt this is going to be just a limited thing considering the nature of this game v rising because like i assume this is probably going to be like a permanent crossover thing but we'll see what i'm wondering is how it how is this going to fit within the world of v rising like is this going to be like canon like, is this going to be something that is not necessarily like canon, but just there as like a fun crossover thing? Like, I want to know how integrated this situation is when it comes to adding this character, I assume, into the game. I don't know. Is this going to be another roaming boss? Because so far, all the vampire hunters in the game are roaming bosses. If this guy is going to be roaming around, I mean, we're in trouble, guys. I don't know. <laughs> Like, you thought Tristan was bad? This guy, he's got a whip. <laughs> um, but yeah, in all seriousness, I mean, this is this is definitely really cool. I like that, um, I like that it's back in the art style that, uh, the teaser trailer was for, um, for the 1.0 launch. So it kind of makes me think, okay, well, there's, if they're adding him into the game, I, I wonder what his moveset is. I might have to do a little bit of research on that because I... I don't know if he's in like any Castlevania games. I would assume that is the case. What do you guys think? Do you think there's going to be um, like, do you think he's going to be in the new wintry area? Do you think because I mean, I don't know if this is just for like visual, um, like create a, to create a nice visual shot of the character. But in the background here, we got Dracula's castle, I assume, because this definitely looks like Dracula's castle, maybe. These trees here definitely kind of give foresty vibes, which makes me wonder if this is, if he's actually going to be roaming around in the beginner area now, or is he going to be later on in the game? That's something else too, because, you know, there's going to be a lot of new players who want to try the game and now that they see that there's going to be some kind of castlevania crossover you're gonna have people who are just show up who want to play just because of that part of me in the back of my mind is thinking this boss is probably not super late game but at the same time considering the fact that they're a vampire hunter i assume i could be wrong i'm sorry if i'm wrong about that it makes me think that the very will could be the new vampire hunter that's going to be in that frosted zone that we don't really know what it quite looks like yet 
um like the new area of the map so i i don't know like part of my brain is just kind of theory crafting a little bit behind this i might have to do a little bit more research on uh this particular character to understand what his move set traditionally has been i don't know if this character has been in like several games um i don't know if this character is just you know a new character that we've never seen before but is somehow like connected through family with like you know the like i said with the last name belmont i my first thought is vampire hunter you know i i don't know his his clothing confuses me i don't know if this is normally what he would wear or if they gave him a new outfit just for v rising because he's going to be a boss or something uh it comes off as probably a boss when i see this image i don't know i have a lot of questions i wonder if this is going to be like a seasonal thing or if it's going to be something that is permanently in the game i would think it'd be something more permanent um considering you know this is a vampire survival game i think this was a good move i think v rising is getting a lot of w's here you know they're they're really winning in some ways i don't know part of me thinks that this is gonna potentially maybe okay maybe this is just my hope but part of me thinks this is going to be like another power world situation where like no one knows about it you know and yeah, p people will probably be like well but i knew about it i had no idea about it okay and then it came out of nowhere and then all of a sudden everyone was playing it if V Rising ends up in that situation, I would not be surprised. I think this game has a lot of potential. I, I hope that maybe in the future, if this goes well, that there's like further stuff that goes along with this. I, I wonder if there's going to be more than just a potential boss added to the game. I wonder if there's going to be furniture sets or anything like that. That would be really nice. Um, I would like to see things like furniture set, uh, furniture items, maybe, uh, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of, I'm kind of jealous of his whip, okay? <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, uh, I've been saying for a while, I've really wanted to see, um, a whip being, like, a new weapon in the game we get to use. Uh, so far, the only ones with whip have been Domina and uh, the Slave Keepers in the Silver Mine. I guess you could say that there's also a possibility that we could also get whips. Um, if we go back in the teaser, there weren't any like new weapons or anything really revealed in that background. I mean, we had we have the slashers and we have uh the what looks like a regular sword yeah i don't think that's a great sword i think that's just a regular sword and i think that that's also um you know like i said slashers in the background i just like the way that this whole thing looks i mean just the art style they went with was such a good move i don't know what this thing this thing on his back is is this some kind of cross or something like will he throw that at us too like what what is this like is it a boomerang is it like you know, I have so many questions. I'm Like I said, I'm going to have to do a lot of research on this guy. I have no idea who he is. I wish I had more to say on this. I know people are basically freaking out all over the internet and they're just like, oh my God, Castlevania, you know, and that's super exciting. I mean, not going to lie. I'm, I'm like super hype. I just don't know anything about Castlevania. I'm going to be honest, but yeah, hopefully this guy does end up being like a boss in the game. I would like to fight him. He looks pretty tough. Maybe we'll destroy him. Maybe we'll get destroyed. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little jealous of his whip. I, I want, I want one. Okay. Give me a whip. I need it. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think that this guy's going to be just like a permanent boss of the game? Do you think he's going to be a late game boss? Do you think he's going to be like an early game boss? Like, where do you think he's going to fit within uh you know the v rising universe is he going to be part of the lore is he just is this just going to be like a separate thing or is he actually going to be canon like I, this is something that i i'm kind of wondering about because i know a lot of uh collaborations with like different you know games and and ips a lot of times they'll just do like a collab on just like visual stuff or a, a seasonal thing um so i i have no idea but yeah this is pretty interesting so what are you guys looking forward to the most with this do you think that um this guy's gonna be tough to beat? like i mean i don't know uh you guys tell me is there anything i i i should probably know about this guy that maybe i haven't you know figured out yet like do you guys recognize him from the castlevania franchise like i have no idea for those of you who don't know my name is shilo q i am a shilo eats quaintly reaper and guide to the underworld i stream three times a week on tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays on thursdays 
I usually stream V Rising, and whenever I stream, I usually stream at 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to stop by and say hello, feel free to do so. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and as always, Sholo out.